Hey, good morning, everyone, and happy Sunday to you. We are here with Sunday Reflection, and it's Peter here from Strong Healthy Women. And those other two gorgeous ladies who are waving at you are Sally Ann and Sue. G'day, girls. How are you going today? Morning, Peter. Morning, Sally. Good morning, morning, everyone. Beautiful today. Good morning. It is an absolutely spectacular day outside. So Sal decided to uh, share it with us out there. So let's I, see if you can get an idea gorgeous, of not what. It's cloud in the sky. Um, you can get a good look at what it looks like in um, Brisbane, Australia, uh, winter-wise. So <laughs> there's absolutely look nothing the to sky, complain look about. Look how beautiful that is. Yeah, yeah. it is spectacular. Yeah, yeah. I, I just posted up a photo before that actually had the sky in it, so it was brilliant. So let's get on to it today. Um, the, what we've been talking about all week has been, are you a challenge kind of girl? And so, and there's two aspects I really think to this. The first part of it is actually doing a, a challenge, whether that be, you know, five day, 10 day, you know, 30 day challenge. And the other aspect of it is, are you someone who actually takes the time to think about where you are and challenge yourself that little bit more, particularly if you want to, you know, take those steps forward. And so, yeah, all week we've been talking about, you know, those, those two aspects. And so I'm gonna pose the question of you firstly, Sue, have you ever participated in a challenge? Yes, I am a challenge kind of girl. Um, mm -hmm. I do. Yeah, I've. Uh, I've probably. Um, oh yeah, I've done them. I've done quite a few actually. You know, by running, of course, and then um, I would get involved in a thirty-day challenge. I mean, even things mm -hmm. like um, so many squats every day for thirty days, or so many planks and you know build up right. your time because that's how how I am uh, I like to set a goal and to achieve it um, I do not always enjoy the challenges and there was a time where I'd really push through and keep going and even though I hated every minute of it but these days I'm a little bit more selective um, I remember I did a meditation <laughs> I did right. a meditation well I did a meditation challenge oh must be mm -hmm. two or three years ago now it went for a month you might have talked about you and sal doing a meditation challenge Ooh, we have. Yeah. Went, yeah well i absolutely hated it and uh, <laughs> a, a friend that i was doing it with <laughs> found the same thing but i think the key was that the person yeah. running the challenge didn't explain mm -hmm. themselves properly. And so I used to get so anxious about um, clearing my mind and having nothing in my mind that I'd be losing the whole point of doing the meditation. It wasn't relaxing me, it was getting me anxious and and upset. <laughs> and, and so I did struggle through it all, but it wasn't until yeah. later that someone said to me, and this was way after the challenge, well, meditation, you know, your thoughts will come in. You just learn to accept them yeah. and let them go. But because That's of that... That's the point. Yeah, but because <laughs> that point wasn't reinforced, it was really difficult. So um, I think for me, uh, I do love a challenge. I think there's so many positives to it, but for me, I need to have... Um, if I'm doing a challenge that's run by someone, I need them to be yeah. really good at running the challenge. Which okay, so let me ask you this, this. Well, firstly, I want to jump in and say this to you because I actually am a meditator and doing certification in meditation. Um, so the first thing is that you never get rid of your thoughts. Your thoughts are always with you, just like your mind is, your body is, and your spirit is. So, um, yeah, um, they certainly should have um, highlighted that to you as well too. Um, you know, and my general observations of you are that you're always doing challenges. You, uh, you seem to finish one. You seem to finish one challenge and you do the next. So. 
um, it's yeah. So and and my other thought is that you actually do challenge yourself as well too. So when you're exercising, as an example, you can see that you are like really, really focused and you are trying to go that little bit harder, that little bit harder and really challenge yourself. Um, can you speak to us a little bit about, you know, what drives you? So, you know, what do you think is within you that really, really embraces um, challenges and, and challenging yourself? Well, I think there's um, a couple of reasons. One is, I'll yeah. start with the, what I think is is not a very good reason, but I think um, that feeling that I've got to um, not please others, but to show that I'm, you know, uh, achieving things and that feeling of perhaps not ever feeling good enough and so you think well I'll do this challenge and I can prove to myself and prove to others that yes I'm worthy I can um, you know I I am worthy as a person so I think that's sort mm -hmm. of a little the little mean voice in your head that sort of says oh you can't do it oh, yeah. that sort of thing and as mm. soon as I hear that I think well you know I could succumb to that but I try to prove it wrong and it's I think it's just a bit of a personality that I am if I if I've always been someone that if I do it I'll do it 150 mm -hmm. percent which is right. sometimes not it, sometimes not good you know you can't you have to find that um balance of of giving uh, giving it as much as you can but realizing that you are at your limit you know, sometimes I haven't done that. But I do get so much satisfaction out of achieving the goal or the challenge that I've I've set myself because mm. I think I've, pro I've proved, like with the exercise, I was never um, very good at gymnastics or any or sport or anything like that. But I've proven to myself since I turned 50 that I can run. I, I've done marathon runs. I've done half marathons. Um, mm -hmm. I can, I've never been a gym person, but, you know, I did PT and I, um, you know, learned how to do that. And I think it's just that feeling of just pushing yourself to your, your capacity and I think that that's what drives me on as well. I want to see how far I can achieve and maybe mm -hmm. that's just a, a personality trait that I have as well. <laughs> yeah, so we just, we that's really interesting. I'm going to come back to it in a second, uh, Sue. Sal, um, you dropped out for a sec there. Um, can you hear us okay? Perfectly, yeah. Okay. It's awesome. Back. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Okay. So um, we know from during the week that you yourself um, have done challenges, and that for you, there's there's really been one that stood out for you, which was the meditation challenge that you um, got through. So it's really interesting. So I'm going to just going to pop back to Sue for a second. Was it a male or a female running that challenge, Sue? It was a female. Right, okay. Yeah, see, um, I've tried other um, meditations before and, and even just recently tried one with a male's voice and it just, I, I can't do it. I try and persevere, no. but it does get me on edge. But that's yeah. that's an issue that I have, yeah. So, mm -hmm. And I know that's around men, so, but that's yeah. a whole other story. So... Um, Sal, you've done other challenges and you've not finished them and with the meditation challenge, you did finish it. So tell me what the difference was in your mind right then. I think right then it was I needed it personally, um, you know, because we had just been put into lockdown, I think. Or isolation, I shouldn't say lockdown, yes. isolation. Yeah, yeah, and, isolation, yeah. You know, so, yeah, so we were sort of not so much under stress, but you you were just worried about what was going to be happening, um, you know, especially with yeah. us three and 
going virtual, you know, how we were going to uh, work the logistics out of that sort of thing. I think at that point in yes. time, I really, really needed it. And, you know, so every morning I made sure that I did the meditation. So I was feeling good for the day and positive and upbeat. Mm, yeah. And I know that when you were doing the challenge, you could really feel your energy. you like, your energy was, was like way up. Um, and then what's happened that since the since we are not in isolation, do you find that the world is getting the better of you, and that that it's in itself is challenging you? That um, that meditation. I'm not sure whether you're still doing it. Whether you, you know. So yeah, talk to us a little bit about that as well. Uh, it's funny because my children. Um, remind yes. me to do it because they will look at me and go, Mum, you just need to zen. You need to zen, Mum. Calm down and zen. And so it's really good because they're keeping me in check and reminding me um, In mm. because I'm that type of person that will just let, you know what I'm like, I'm a thinker and I will just let things get to me um, and I will think on mm. them. So it's really good that they're reminding me to zen every day and to relax and to do my meditation um so it's great right. that they're keeping me in check yeah and you know that clearly shows you that you know like you just said you noticed a shift in my energy so it, no it shows that my children noticed the shift in my energy as well when i was mm. doing the meditation mm -hmm. challenge hmm. yeah and so just a question for you. So are you still doing your meditations each day? Yes. Yeah, yes. every morning. Yes. Especially mm. with, you know, yeah, especially with, you know, the situations over the past week, um, which is making us a lot mm -hmm. more anxious again, um, especially here in Queensland. Yep. So, yeah, I'm being very, very conscious of making sure, you know, I light my candles and I sit there and I do my meditations. Mm, mm. Look, I, I honestly think that um, whatever form of meditation it takes, um, whether that's just a quick deep breathe into your, you know, your body, um, that in itself first thing in the morning can certainly help um, give you the energy that you need to um, be able to really, really embrace the day and to be able to handle any challenges that you have coming your way as well too. So I, I want to go back to um, something that Sue um, actually said things... earlier. Yeah, go on. Sorry, Peter. I was just going to say too, the best thing about meditation is it doesn't have to be an hour or 20 minutes. You know, I know I feel better even if I just sit there for five minutes, three minutes mm -hmm. and just completely and utterly focus on myself. And as you said, you're breathing, you're yeah. calming your mind and just thinking positive thoughts. Mm, mm. which actually leads quite well into uh, something that um, I caught that Sue actually said. And she said that um, what she found was she's, you know, the reason that she loves challenges is because, you know, one of the reasons is because she's thinking that she's not, not good enough to be able to do it. And so therefore she does it in order to challenge herself. And I, and I want to just really say to anybody and to you sue listening just remember this thought today if you take nothing else away other than this one thought we are all good enough we are all perfect just the way we are we don't need to change anything about ourselves when we get into um exercising um what i love personally about it is that it, it is that inner focus. So if you're not a meditation kind of girl and you can't sit and sit in the stillness, then when you're exercising, you're still wholly and solely focused on yourself. And that's what it's about, is being able to focus on yourself and your inner thoughts and, and just be okay with yourself. And I think, Sue, you could speak to that a little bit because I would imagine that that's exactly what happens when you do a run. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, 
you do get focused and, and, and it is your time. And I suppose uh, I was just thinking of what you said with talking about them, Peter, and that's really, a, in a roundabout way, a challenge or something could be a form of self-care <laughs> because you're making mm. that time for yourself. You're developing yourself by um, having a go at the challenge and, mm. you know, and, and you, you're getting that focus just for that time and it's just on you. But, yeah, when when I'm running, um, yeah, it's wholly and solely me or if I'm running with friends, we'll have a chat, but it's that focus on that particular moment that I'm in and uh, yeah. challenging myself to keep maybe go a little bit further or, or whatever. So, mm. Um, mm. Yeah, I like to, um, self-care is just one of those words that just gets thrown around so much these it days. It does, um, like everything, you know. Uh, mm. But, you know, like looking after yourself, I suppose. Mm. I like to actually call it um, self-awareness mm. mm. because, yeah, I, I just think that we become so... Um, focused on all of the negative aspects of ourselves that we don't take the, those moments to actually focus on all of the good things. And I know that um, in our insiders group this week, I set them a challenge and it was to stand in front of the mirror for five minutes. Oh. And the, the, if they really wanted to venture out, they could do it naked. Um, but it was just <laughs> to stand and, and actually look at themselves and not to have those po those negative thoughts about themselves, to have those positive thoughts. So to actually scan from top to bottom and, and tell themselves what it is that they love about themselves. And so that's not, you know, <clears throat> not you um, being all about your ego or anything like that. It is just all about you being aware of who you are that that person inside not that that outside shell that we are oh so critical about you know i don't like my nose i don't like my big bottom i don't like my big thighs um but there are so many positives you know if you think about big thighs and big bottom you know that they're your stabilizing muscles in your body um that help you move they're they're all about mobility so if you you know, you think about it from that perspective rather than, you know, that they're big, then you feel more positive about it. And when you feel more positive about it, then you're more likely to do something about it. You're more likely to challenge yourself. And then what happens is you get that snowball effect in that that bottom and those thighs might start to shrink because you're actually loving them more. And so mm -hmm. when you come at yourself from a love perspective, then more of that happens than, you know, that the, it, it's like if you have a negative thought and you keep thinking about it. Now, so you were talking about this when you get something in your head, you just think about it. You just total, totally focused on it. And so what happens is you just keep getting more and more of those thoughts. They just come at you and you might end up spending that whole entire day just in those negative thoughts because that's what you what's being sent to you because they're not that that positive stuff and you and and it really is difficult to flip that switch and to put those positive thoughts in your head as well too mm, mm, mm. but i think that's mm. where a challenge is good because yeah. you you start to mm. see yourself achieving you start believing in yourself and i yes. think then it sort of helps you to keep on track and hopefully you will continue those learnings past the challenge and not say, well, the 30 days is up or the 31 days is up or the five days, whatever the challenge mm. is, it's uh, it's finished. Oh, I'm finished with that too. Um, I think it's, <laughs> which is what happens to a lot of people. But I think it, if you look at it as a way of it becoming part of your lifestyle and why you're doing it and you're building your self-confidence mm. and that sort of thing, I think that's important too. Yeah, look, I look, I, I love a good challenge, and uh, the reason that I love challenges is they're generally short enough to be able to get you into some type of daily practice that enables you to take those steps forward in whatever area of your life it happens to be. Um, 
But the thing is that if in your mind you're thinking, I'm just doing this for, you know, 28 days as an example, then what will happen is um, you will more than likely stop it at that point. So you, when you approach a challenge, it's more about, okay, I'm going into this because I want to create a daily practice of learning whatever it is that this challenge is all about. Yeah, and, mm. and so challenges can work really, really well to give you the results that you need to build that confidence in order to keep those daily practices up, mm. yeah. Mm. And, and, and let's talk a little bit about, like, challenging yourself, particularly when you, um, wow, look, we love to get in our comfort zone, don't we? So we love to do the same routines. Now, routines are great because then we don't have to think about it too much. And, but if that routine happens to be that not so healthy routine, then it's not so great. And so then we need to challenge ourselves to get out of those unhealthy habits and into those healthy habits. So how do you go about challenging yourself? Do you want to start us off, Sal? Sorry, I missed that. How do I start? How do you go about challenging yourself? Myself. Um, mm. So I, and I spoke this way as well, uh, each of my workouts that I do, and I gave an example of my push-ups yep. when I was doing push-ups, you know, learning to do mm -hmm. push-ups. And so each workout that I do at each rep that you do, should be a challenge so you know like that's literally a five second challenge um and it's about Ooh. getting that little bit extra out of each rep and out of each set so i would make sure that when i was doing my push-ups especially when i started you know it was um because a lot of people say i can't do a push-up um but you can literally teach yourself to do a push-up and you can do an advanced push-up and it's just all about each rep being a little challenge so it would be okay um today in one set i'm going to make sure i go down a little bit further with each rep you know and then the following week it would be okay well this week i'm going to add two extra reps to each of my sets. Mm -hmm. um and when you have that thinking in challenging yourself with each rep, each set, each workout, um, you just mm -hmm. get stronger and you feel better about yourself. You know, it's it's you know, that little yeah. thing and th that you go, oh, I'm so proud of myself. You know, I did this today. How awesome is that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, <clears throat> what about you, Sue? How do you approach challenging yourself? Um. Well, a bit like Sal in terms of starting at a point and then building on that and challenging mm -hmm. or even challenging myself to try new things. Um, you know, as I said, I was never athletic, never any good at sport. And then at 50, I've started running. I started doing, um, you know, gym work or, for you know, PT and I'm with Strong Healthy Women now and I'm doing things that I never thought I'd be able to do. And so right. um, I think that for me that was stepping out of my comfort zone. So when I started to run, I couldn't run between two lampposts. But I each week or each every day I'd say, okay, I'll go a little bit further and I'll do that and I was building and building and building and then I ran a marathon at 55, mm. which I was, that was mm -hmm. one of the highlights of my life. Amazing. The same with not being able mm. to do a push-up, as Sal was saying. And I remember some young girls I worked with booked me into a boot camp at 50 and I had never done And I said, you know, I'm old enough to be your mother. I don't know how to do any of this. But I went there and I ended up winning the most improved award because I gave it, you know, I thought, okay, I can't do a push-up, but by the end of the, the boot camp, I was doing 20 push-ups and full ones because I, mm. you know, mm. I accepted the challenge and I thought, no, come on, you can do this, have a go. And what's the worst that can happen, really? 
you have a try exactly. and perhaps you just can't do it that day or whatever, but you keep trying and you'll eventually get it. Yeah, yeah. And, and look, it does. It comes down to attitude. Attitude is everything. Yeah. Yeah, because both of you in those instances, you've gone in and you've gone, okay, it's how I approach this. It's like, what are my thoughts around this? Um, and one of the things that I was talking about through the week was now I work out generally on my own at home. And so it would be very easy for you to, or anybody for this matter, or for myself, to be able to just go, well, no one's watching me. So therefore, I can just do, you know, I can say I did five sets, but, you know, I might have only done three. So I could actually tell myself anything that I wanted to tell myself. But I, I don't take that approach because I always, it is what what is driving me? So why do I want to exercise? And why do I want to eat healthy? Um, yeah. And it really comes down to that my life, so how I use my body, my mind, my spirit, my life is entirely um, within what I, ca I can control. So, and it is about that control factor. We all want to have that level of, um, particularly now, where, with what's happening in the world, we feel very out of control. So exercise is one thing that you can control. So you can do it and you can um, continue to improve on it. And so I will always put in exercises that I don't so much like. Um, look, I'm not a Swiss ball kind of girl. I, I've got to say that. But today I did a combination of heavy weights with Swiss ball. Um, so it was a very, very different kind of workout. And I, and I did it put a smile on my face um, because it was so funny because, you know, you, I'm trying to balance myself on this Swiss ball whilst doing, you know, push-ups as an example. Mm -hmm. And so that in itself was a challenge for me. It's not something that I normally do. So even something as simple as using different pieces of equipment can challenge you. So it doesn't yeah. really have to be, yeah, yeah. So it, it's not so much about whether you're doing a five-day challenge or, a, you know, a 30-day challenge. It's about when you approach each and everything you do in life, do you go into it? you know, saying this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to achieve it and this is the reason that I want to do that. Yeah. Because yeah, you've got when that reason, reason. Yeah, when that reason is important to you. And one of the things that I was thinking about this morning, well, it just came into my thoughts, was uh, my, my nana. And, you know, she, it was a really, really strong thought and it was about how you know she had a chronic illness she had several chronic illnesses but the one i'm going to talk about is diabetes and and so what happened with her is a simple little cut in her toe turned out to her having her leg removed mm. um and you know and then eventually you know this took her life and and so and as a, as a young girl, so I was 11 at the time, um, that has had a massive impact and it, and it keeps driving me forward to go, you know, I don't want to have those same illnesses that she had because that that's really scary to me. Um, but what I remembered was my grandmother scooting along on her backside. Now, she was an obese woman, scooting along on her backside after she had lost this, this leg um, and, and going all the way through the house to the front veranda where the railings were, so on the steps, and actually using her arms to pull herself up because she couldn't get up otherwise. And it was the only way she could do it. So she was challenging herself because she knew she needed to get up. 
Yeah. Um, and, and as a small girl, I couldn't help her. And, you know, Pop wasn't there. Mum wasn't there. So she, if she wanted to get up and be able to get mobile, that's what she needed to do. And, I mean, that's mm -hmm. inspiring in itself that, you know, she knew that she needed to challenge herself. And think about the upper body strength that she had because she, she was obese. Um, yeah. And that was a massive thing. Yeah. So... I, I think we get challenged every day, though, and sometimes we actually don't think that we're being challenged. Yeah. Yeah, I agree mm. with that. And it doesn't necessarily yeah, have yeah, to be yeah. a, a, in a form of health and fitness either. It can be just daily daily challenges in all areas of our lives and, and having to build that mm. resilience. And I think that that's where doing a regular challenge also helps because it does build, make you more resilient. It makes you, mm -hmm. um, and, and I think you grow as a person and you Absolutely. get that self-belief, you get that self-confidence, you get that resilience, you know you've got it in you to go that little bit further so that when you get the daily challenges, whatever it might be, I think mm. you're able to cope with them a lot better. You've got that self-belief there and you've got that, well, yep, yeah, I can handle this sort of thing. Absolutely, yeah. Sue. Yeah, well said, yeah. well said. So you got anything to add to that? I was just going to say, I think, you know, growing up and, um, you know, my, it didn't really click for me till I was about 38 that, you know, this is who I am and if you don't like it, then that's not my problem. Um, but I think just growing yeah. up, you know, you know, you have so many people influencing you and, um, you know, so many outside factors that um, I think mm -hmm. mould the way we think and that negative thought, thoughts that we have. Um, yeah. Yes. And it's funny because my sister and I often laugh about, uh, you know, growing up because we grew up in the 80s and, you know, so, you know, mum had be in high school and mum would say oh you're putting on a little bit of weight and we look back at the uh -huh. high school photos now and we're like are you kidding we could have been classed as anorexic <laughs> you know but it, it was those you know those and and you know it's all perspective they were the times that we grew yeah. up in um but yeah it was I it was definitely yeah. I was 38 and it was like you know what this is who I am and if you don't yeah. like it that's not my problem and can I just say something from what it's triggered something sure. in my mind, what Sal just said. Well, it took me to 60 to be that way, yeah. Sal. So you <laughs> recognise that a lot earlier than me and I'm 63 <laughs> this month. So, you know, but I'm finally, thank God, finally at a point in my life where I'm thinking that way. But um, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, yes, but all those things, those external forces, they develop our mm. limiting beliefs. And so I think by yeah. challenging yourself, you, it's another way to overcome those limiting beliefs that we've been grown up with and, you know, um, they've developed and people haven't really meant it. Like I'm sure your mum didn't mean anything by no. that. Um, no, but that's stuck in your mind and there's other things that stick in your mind and they stop you from doing it. So that's why I think a challenge is a good idea because it helps you to overcome yes. those limiting beliefs. Yes, yes. And get back yes. to that yes. um, not, you know, growing up. You know, we were talking about my daughter Olivia the other day and, you know, she used to do gymnastics and um, cheerleading, you know, and she was a couple of months ago peter noticed it too you know doing her cartwheels and all that and you could see she had that little bit of resistance and fear and it's sad that that had snuck into her way of thinking you know when she was seven and eight there was no fear whatsoever you know um yeah so it, i think it's that that fear and resistance as you said to you know i'm scared to do this what if you know what if i hurt myself yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, yeah, it, it is so true. Um, I, I think that uh, to love yourself, which is what you're talking about there, girls, 
um, that there, there are some people who will go through their whole entire life and never really, really like themselves. And I think it is, it comes down to that self-awareness and that those daily practices, because quite frankly, there will be, there, there, there are going to be those points um, and those messages and those influences that are really going to sneak in on a daily basis that tell us that we're not good enough. Um, and and so it's that belief in ourselves that we are good enough, that we like ourselves just the way we are, is really, really important. Um, so challenging yourself is something that we encounter every day. But those challenges how we respond to those challenges is really important. So we can run, we can, we can run a million miles from them, or we can simply go, okay, I am prepared to accept this challenge. And this is the reason that I want to accept this challenge, because as we've heard, we've all at some point taken on a challenge and then started it and gone, ah, this isn't for me. This isn't the right type of challenge for me. Um, and, and that, that's okay too, because when you accept the challenge, what you're doing is you're saying, this is what is important to me right now. And you really have to feel comfortable with the people that are running the challenge, as you mentioned, Sue. And you really want to achieve whatever results are that that challenge is offering you up. And then the other thing about it is that challenge yourself every day to do something that a little bit different and to encourage yourself to remember that seven-year-old girl that you're talking about there, Sel. I, I love that. I had a smile on my face because um, that's that's when we're true to ourselves, when we're that young person. You know, we've developed our own personalities. We don't worry about what anybody else says or thinks or does. We're just having a little bit of fun with it. That's where you want to take yourself back to. Remember those things that that as a child that you like doing and try and do something like that each and every day because then it's going to really, really, you know, put some type of sparkle and shine on the day that you're about to have a sort of thing. So if you are a challenge kind of girl, um, we have a challenge coming up. So I put it on your calendar because we're not quite ready there to tell you anything else about it. But if you tune in next week, you might find out something else about it. Um, so it is starting on the 17th of August. So if you liked what we talked about today and you're thinking, yes, I would like to do a challenge and those girls seem pretty cool and we, I'd like to do a challenge with them, then, um, yeah, come and watch us next week. Come and have a listen or make sure you're on our mailing list and then you will find out all there is to find out about the challenge. Thanks for joining me today, Sue. Thanks for joining me, Sal. Awesome chat. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful Sunday. Yes, get out there and get in the sunshine if you're um, around our local area. All right, so see you all soon. Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. Bye.